What's up guys? We're back with another epic battle video where we're battling against Yu-Gi-Mo. We lost the seven game series by losing four in a row last time, but we were taking it easy on him. Now we're going to open a Rise of Destiny first edition booster box and we're going to beat him. This box is a European box, so there should be one hobby ultimate rare and one retail. So naturally, Dekoichi and Creator. How about that? That'd be crazy. We're also doing a giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away these two cards, yeah, the Dark Magician Girl and the Arcana Art Dark Magician. Pretty awesome. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card that we pulled today. And let's get into it. All right, guys, let's open this thing up. This is actually a pretty expensive booster box now. They used to be a lot cheaper. Um, they've gone up quite a bit, so this is going to be pretty, pretty awesome opening. Hopefully better than yesterday. If you guys didn't see yesterday, check out the Cybernetic Revolution opening. That's the box right there. Also, if you want to get you a... Play match, check out the link in the description, use code RUXIN, and um, you can get 10% off. So if you want to get you a Cyber Cyber Dragon, I think they have more options as well. Alright, here we go. Alright, this is a, oh yeah, definitely European. They always have way more um, room in there, I feel like. Let's start off here. I don't know if they map these Rise of Destiny or not, but let's see. I've seen some pretty crazy stuff out of Rise of Destiny booster boxes, so hopefully that'll happen. And by the way, since we are battling Yu-Gi-Mo, make sure you guys check out his video after this. He also has a really cool intro uh, for the battle. He put in a ton of work on it, and it's really funny. So make sure you check that out. Creeping Doom Manta. Back to square one. What do we want out of here? We want the Dekoichi Rare. We want the Ultimate Rare. We want the Creator. We want stuff like that. Dark Blade the Dragon Knight is a great retail Ultimate Rare as well. Invasion of Flames, Foxfire, and Ballista of Rampart Smashing. So this is our first battle since the seven-game series. So... We're going to need to uh, to come back. We're going to need to do better. Let's see what we can do here. Rise of Destiny. Here we go. Nightmare Penguin. Homunculus, the alchemic being. Spell Purification. Chain Burst. Let's hopefully not get that one as an ultimate rare. And Eagle Eye. By the way, if you're interested, this is the code for these specific packs. 102758. The packs are usually like one off of the box number, I think. Let's see if we can find the box number real quick. Yeah, 10257. So 102757. Does that make sense? All right. So hobby retail is a different code. So if you see a code that is not the hobby retail code and you have both of those, then it's probably the European code, which is this. And in terms of a lot of the sets, you get one hobby and one um, retail ulti. Element Magician, which I think how they should have done it always. That would have made sense. Sasuke Samurai number four. Moki Moki and Eagle Eye. So, so far, we are opening back-to-back -back GX boxes um, in these last two days. But so far, we haven't pulled anything good out of this box. But we also haven't pulled, you know, anything at all. So, just keep it up. These packs open really easily. It's really nice. Okay, we've got the the Mirage Dragon. Raging Flame Sprite. Zing Zen Hu. Rock from the Valley of Haze. A-Team Trap Dispel... I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We're definitely going to pull that as an ultimate rare. We do every single time. Somehow or another, it comes out, and, and that's what we get. All right. I really hope that we get a... I mean, the Perfect Machine King is really cool, and Creator. Those would be crazy ultimate rares. My, Muddy Guard. Mirage Dragon. Rock. Harpy Girl. Good one. And a Pikachu Circle of Enchantment. That is a super rare. Nice. Creator and Moki Moki Smackdown. I mean, it's impossible for us to do worse than we did yesterday in the CRV box. That is literally the worst possible box, I think. Unless maybe you take out the Cyber Twin and replace it with some other random super. And then we don't get a Power Bond. We get, I think, Wing Karibo level 10 would have been worse as an Ultra Rare. Because the, the Power Bond Ultra is actually worth quite a bit. So we were close, but we weren't quite there. So today, I mean, it's just all up from yesterday. It's all up from here. We get a Tactical Espionage, Harpy Lady 2, Creeping Doom Manta, back to square one. Machine Dupe, that would be a great ultimate rare. And Moki Moki King, we would definitely take this one as an ultimate rare. I have pulled this one before out of uh, Rise of Destiny Special Edition. And so it was, no, Rise of Destiny Special Edition is a first dead, that's right. So it was first dead. All right. Let's see what we can do here. So far, one super rare, that's it. Homunculus, Mind Hacksworks, Raging Flame Sprite, Spell Puri, Rare Metamorph, okay, Rare Metamorph, and Moki Moki King. We have pulled Moki Moki King so many times already.
We have Harpy Girl. Mind. Hexworks. Harpy Hunting Ground. Element Magician. Divine Wrath. Okay, that's actually a really cool one. It's the Hobby Ultimate, though, which stinks. That does stink quite a bit, but that's a really cool looking one. That is a cool one. It's better than some. Like, if we got P. Ru Cir Circle of Enchantment, that would have sucked. This is pretty good, though. I mean, check that out. That looks really, really good. I I'm a fan of that card. I'm a fan of that card. I don't know what its value is, though. So, we'll have to check it out. But that's a cool one. I wish that was a I wish that was a rare and an, an ulti rare. That would have been a lot better. If that was a rare instead of a super, it'd be better. Okay. So, we're pretty much... Now, we're hoping for Dekoichi. We're hoping for... Um, Machine Dupe. Stuff like that. Zing Zin Hu. Harvest Hunting Ground. Harpy Girl. Oh, we got the Creator Ultra Rare. That's awesome. We got the Cover Card in Ultra. That is really, really cool. Check that out. That's a sick card. Oh, I didn't check the waxing on the other one. There's a little bit of a indent right there. If you guys can see that. You see that? Small indent. That is really cool. The Creator. What a nice pull. Let's check the back on this. See how we're doing. We're doing okay so far. Oh yeah, there's that Rise of Destiny wax. You guys see that? Rise of Destiny. You're not going to be grading those ulties, that's for sure. Okay. Harpy Lady 3 and Moki Moki Smackdown. Okay, we still got three packs on this side. We're doing pretty good. Full three foils. It's not bad. What are the supers that we want? A Divine Wrath. I, it's like a $4 super, so maybe in ulti it's like worth a lot. It might be like, maybe like a $50 card or something. Mighty Guard, Mirage Dragon, Rock, Serial Spell, see look, we could have gotten that, no, that's a rare, so we could still get that, we'll probably still get that, okay, two more packs of this side, and then we're going on to the left side, which apparently, I wonder if that's always the retail side, that's interesting to uh, think about, I wonder if the retail ulti is always on the on the left, Tactian, Tactical Espionage, Nightmare Penguin, Element Magician, Ooh, Dekoichi! Let's go! We got the rare Dekoichi. That's a good one. Like a $5 card. We'll take that. Very solid in GOAT format. Hello, hello. Okay, one more pack on this side. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're going to have to see how yu gi does. I think we can win this one. But every time that we do pretty good, he just does amazing. So, it's kind of unfair. <laughs> Alright, we got a Harpy Girl. That's a good start to that pack. Homunculus. Mind Haxorx. Raging Flame Sprite. Ultimate Insect Level 3 would be a cool ulti. I would take that. I don't think it's worth too much, but I just love how it looks. Yeah, it's, especially in the uh, Euro print. So we could get some cool Euro print cards. Just be one that looks good at least. We're starting on the left side, so we can get our ulti over here somewhere. We've already pulled an ultra rare, which is nice. We've got the Creeping Doom Manta, Harpy Lady 2, Tactical Espionage, Element Magician. We've seen those a few times. Monster Reincarnation. That would be a cool ultimate rare as well. Monster Reincarnation, super rare. We will take that. We've already gotten our hobby, though, so we can't get it. Okay. Moki Moki and Woodbork and Patchy. 11 packs left in this booster box. GX, please bless us with something epic. Dekoichi number three. I have two now. I had zero for a long time. Or at least ultis. So I need one more. Black Square one, if I ever use three. Lighten the load. Harpy Lady two. Creeping new Manta. Serial spell again. Bokoichi. Alright, okay, Bokoichi. I see you. I see you. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to like the video and be subscribed. Get make sure to subscribe. We're doing a crazy opening. Even crazier than this. Much crazier than this. Crazier than Cybernetic Revolution. It's gonna be huge. Muddy Gar! Nightmare Penguin, so yeah. Make sure you're here for that. Dekoichi number two out of the box and Bokoichi. That means we get to draw two cards. That is awesome. Draw two cards when we flip. We'll take that. On to the next one. We are doing pretty well so far in this box. Compared to the cost, maybe not that well, but overall we're pulling some pretty valuable stuff. Like, you know, stuff that has value. Element Magician. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Mine Hacks. Harpy Girl. We'll take that. Ultimate Insect Level 3. That's a cool one. Moki Moki and Harpy Lady 3. Next, Packaroon. Let's see what we can do. Can we pull... The next ulti, whatever it's going to be, I don't know. That pack just ripped up really weird. Mirage Dragoon, Rock, The Load, Homunculus, Tragedy! Oh, that was yesterday. This was a tragedy opening that Cybernetic Revolution box. <laughs> 
Okay, today hasn't really been a tragedy. Today's been pretty good. I'll take that. Harpy Lady 3. Okay. Okay. Next pack. Ultimate Rare. What will it be? I'm, I have a good feeling about our next ultimate. I think it's going to be decent. Back to square one. Do you guys believe? Let me know in the comments. Will we pull a good ulti? Creeping Doom Manta. We got a Harpy Lady 2. Tactile Espionage. Covering Fire. Oh, gosh. This is reminding me how many bad options there are in Rise of Destiny for ultis. Okay, let's hope it's not that one. All right, next pack. The Mirage Dragoon. We've got the Harpy's Hunting Ground. The Raging Flame Sprite. Zing Zen Hu. Oh, the Fusilor Dragon. That's a cool one. The Dual Mud Beast. That's a pretty cool ulti. So that would be all right. I would be okay with that one. All right, all right. Next pack, next pack. We are waiting in suspense for the next ulti. Come on. Homunculus. Spell purification. Muddy God. Nightmare Penguin. Oh, a machine duplication. That is one of the ones we want. And not much scuffing. Okay, there's a little bit. You can see it there. But for Rise of Destiny, that's pretty good. That's a really good ultimate rare. We're looking all right for this battle now. If he doesn't pull like the cover card ulti, we have a good chance. We have a good chance. That's a really good one. That is a really good one. So let's just check out what we've gotten so far. All right, so far we've pulled pretty good. We've got tons of Harpy Girls, Cuppy, cu Cuppy, Cobble Decoy Cheese. We've pulled a uh, Machine Dupe. We've got the Creator cover card. Two ultis. Yeah, we're looking we're looking good right now for this battle. And for the rest of this pack, we got another Bakoichi. Bakoichi brings us the luck, apparently. All right, final four packs of this box. Here we go. Let's pull something good. Let's pull something insane. We've already pulled two ultimate rares, so we're probably not getting another one, but you never know. You never know. We already pulled two really good ones. Spell Purification. Muddy Gar! Big Core, super rare. Okay, not the craziest card, but it is a big core. It is a super rare. <laughs> I don't know if that's our last card or not. I don't know. So, super rare. I'd rather have the Divine Wrath than that, probably. It's a cool looking card, but not very good. Alright, we got Zing Zin. The Dragoon. Rock. Lighten the load. Oh, and Flint. Yeah, that could have been that could have been one. Flint. That would have been fantastic getting a Flint. <laughs> Alright. Second to last pack. Raging Flame Sprite. We got the Zing Zin Hu. Rock from the Valley of Haze. Lighten the load. Oh, it keeps happening. Gaia Soul the Combustible Collective. I pulled that one. I pulled that one against Team Sam, actually. And the final pack, guys. Maybe nothing in here. We're not sure. I think nothing, but you never know. Overall, an amazing box so far. Muddy Guard, Mirage Dragon, Harvey's Hunting Ground, Raging Flame Sprite, Necklace of Command, okay. The meme itself, okay. All right, so let's go over what we got in this whole box, guys. We did pretty good. We got one, two, three, four. I think I might have missed some of the Harpy Girls that might be in there. Then we got two Dekoichi, uh rares. We got a Machine Dupe rare, Big Core Super, Reincarnation, Tragedy, and Picaroos. That's four supers. We got the cover card, the creator. That's really awesome. And two pretty nice ultis out of here. Machine Dupe and Divine Wrath. I think overall we did pretty good. We actually pulled some pretty decent value out of this box for what you can actually pull. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more epic content. Check out Yugi Mo's video in the description and let him know who won, me or him. I think we did pretty good. It's going to be tough for him to win. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>